Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Ken, the U.S. photographer, Randall and Bruce. Today is Monday, February 22nd, 2016 AD. And here I am, despite what I said in a previous video, talking about the Ken, the U.S. 1DX Mark II. Um, I was watching a video and saw this uh, illustration and then some people talking about the uh, touch screen. I thought, you know what, that's worthy of making a little video about. So, I screen captured this photo. Of course, I photoshopped my face in there. But aside from that, I got this photo from the uh, from a video. Photoshopped my face in there, and then we're making a video about it. Now. We're making a video about it now for you guys to listen to. So let's talk about the touch screen. Uh... Recently, Canon, or excuse me, Canon, Nikon put out the D5, or the D5 is coming out, and it has a touch screen, but all you can do is pinch and to zoom in and zoom out, plus flip to go between, uh, to scroll between pictures. So it had limited functionality. Uh, the Canon is supposed to have a whole lot more, not only have a touch screen, but have a whole lot more functionality. Now, how much functionality that will end up being, I don't know. Will it be able to scroll through um, text and menus? I don't know yet. I don't know exactly what all the touch screen will be able to do. No doubt you'll be able to flip through images and pinch, zoom in and out your photos for you pencil peepers. Um, but it should have more functionality than that. Um, and again, how much we'll have to see. One of the things we do know is you can touch zoom uh, in video, which is a really cool feature. So if I, for, say, for example, right here, that you want, looking at this picture of me here, and you wanted to focus on me. You simply, when you're making a video or a photo, I believe this is supposed to be both a photo and video, but they made a special point to mention the fact that it's in the video function. But I believe it's true of the uh, photo section as well. So what you do is, uh, I'll have to make sure it's in the photo section. I'm not sure, I'm 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty sure it's in both. I know it's in video, but because um, they made a very clear point of that. Point is, what you do is you... Through the live view function, you can see the image of what you, you know, what's available to take a photo or video of. And you can touch focus on my face. Let's say you want my face in focus. So you would touch on my face, and that's what would be in focus. Now, obviously, if you touch my face, things like, and focus on my face, obviously things like uh, the lamp in the background, or the door in the background, or... Those pictures on top of the shelf or on the desk would be out of focus, okay? So, a sharp face, background without focus. What you can then do, if you want to, if you want to switch back and forth, you could say tap on the lamp or the pictures on top of the uh, shelf or the shelf itself, uh, for example, and it would fo focus very quickly on those items, and my face would be out of focus. This would be very handy if you want to video, especially for video, if you have people at different at different depths uh, that's severe enough where you have to change the focus. So if I go one person's far away and one person's close up to the camera and you're filming them, and you want one, for one second one person's talking and then the other person's talking and switches back and forth, if you want to, you can focus in on one person while they're talking, and then when that person starts to talk, push in on them, and back and forth as is appropriate. If you want to do that, um, makes any effect. And you can do that simply now by uh, touch focusing, which makes it a lot, oh heck, oh my gosh, makes it a lot easier to focus um, than it was before. Now you can do that effect, you know, going between a person close out and a person far away, but it took a lot more work. Now it's very simple and fast. 
And from what I hear, very quiet because of the, uh, they've improved the focusing system. Not only focusing uh, points in the menu or in the viewfinder and stuff, but the entire focusing engine or whatever, however, I don't know all the details of how it works, but it's been improved and made quieter from what I understand. So it's a whole new system, a whole better system, and uh, some really neat improvements, both in speed and accuracy and noise reduction, which is always good because the last thing you want to hear is a lens moving when you're making a video especially obviously you don't want the sound of a lens focusing or adjusting or trying to focus both from a perspective of you know speed or noise uh, obviously if you touch one section you want to be in focus fast and stay there until you don't want to be in focus on that point so, you know, you want to keep on focus, you want to focus fast, stay there until you tell it to change. And you definitely don't want a lot of noise because it's very hard to get rid of noise on video. Um, it's not that hard to add it, you can add all kinds of noise. But taking out noise is very hard and uh, sometimes makes it impossible. So, unless you just completely mute the sound. Totally. Which you don't, a lot of times you don't want to do. So, a lot of new advances. Uh, touch screen. You can pinch and to zoom in and out, flip between pictures. Uh, touch to adjust focus. Now, can you do the actual menus with your finger? I'm not sure about that. That I'll have to wait and see. I have. I would think if you could do that, they would be advertising it. Um, but as of right now, I haven't heard anything, you know, if you can flip through the different menus uh, with touch screen. Normally in the past, you had to either push your uh, dial there on the right, up or down, or turn it, uh, you know, turn the circle or go up and down. Um, so I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see on that feature. But definitely some improvements. I mean, that's definitely a cool idea. And it's a, they've done it very well from what I understand. So, I mean, that, the idea that you can focus on a person just by touching the uh, screen. Now, I've seen other cameras. I've heard of I haven't seen. I've heard of other cameras. I've seen videos of other cameras that do this. But, uh, but they were like pocket cameras. So, the fact that Canon's implemented this technology on their top-of-the-line DSLR is really cool. So, I look forward to hopefully being able to get one. Eventually, don't know how, Lord willing, um, and being able to uh, use that feature and even make a video about it if I'm ever able to get a camera or cameras. So, it really does look, look neat and it's an improvement, and I'm sure everybody that gets one when they come out here in another month or so will be really excited to not only get to try it out but once they get to try it out find out how really neat it probably is I can imagine it would be a pretty cool feature to have to add to the ability of your camera so that's all I have for now uh, so until next time I'm Kennedy Lewis with for Rail and Roos thanks for watching every day God bless and as always keep taking those pictures